Hey everyone, my name is Meats. Welcome to my channel. And I finally finished painting my dragon. And right now, it looks really awesome. All that metallic <laughs> effect. And there we go. So first off, I'm just gonna quickly show you guys the marbling. Uh, as you can see, it is quite better than it was before. Before it's just plain blue, maybe a little bit streak of black, but now it's a lot better. <laughs> yep, so again, um, I've done the, the similar technique what I used before. Uh, paint the whole thing black first, then just use a sponge and dab a little bit of paint and just keep uh, going over it. And it's also nice to kind of wipe off the paint off the sponge. You don't want too much. And also you'll notice that I've added a little bit of a, a different color like inside there. Um, again, that's the blue topaz I have. So I had the, my metallic ice blue and the blue topaz inside. And both of them are folk art acrylic paints. They're water-based. Yep. And for the guns, um, I pretty much used a metallic uh, gun metal gray. Um, I could do a little bit more, maybe paint the tips with the something silver, but for now I'll just leave it as is. And I also added a pin this part here. Uh, it's similar to copper, it does look like metallic orange, which is really nice. And uh, paint a little bit silver for the teeth and the nails. And for the eyes, uh, and that's metallic red, put gold and then black. Let's zoom in and uh, see if we can find a better view for it. Alright, here we go. So, as you can see on the eyes, it's I painted it red, then a little bit of splash of uh, silver right there. Then put gold, like a circular in the middle, and a black line. Yep. <laughs> um, quite easy to do. Uh, same, same goes with the other eye. Um, although, kind of want to have more white uh, smeared on the sides, but... Eh, maybe next time. Alright. And I guess while we're already zoomed in, a bit of close-up. So as you can see, uh, it's not perfect And how I painted this. Um, it's quite uneven. And sometimes you will see parts like that that the paint didn't go through. But it does look nice. So in some lighting, uh, it's... It's kind of black, but uh, when the light, uh, light touches it, you'll see the blue. A really cool effect. And as always, I always uh, top coat my kits or figures. And for this one, I just use high gloss. Yep. So there we go. That's my update on my Dragon Universe Whiptail. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So until then, this is Meads. Thank you for watching.